Hi guys, I have wanted to make a couple of different videos for a while and I've decided to make them all into one. Um, it's pretty much um, kind of my view of my first six months on YouTube because it really has only been six months that I've been on YouTube, it feels like forever. I can't remember a time without it. Um, I really actually can't remember a time without it and it's become like my world, which is so sad but it's true. Um, I have made some notes because I never make notes on videos and this one I had a lot of different things that I wanted to incorporate so I've made some notes. So if you see me kind of looking to the side that's why, because I'm actually prepared for once. Um, okay, basically I kind of want to address the whole keeping up with the Joneses mentality that is all over YouTube. Um, the whole, you know, you have to buy this because someone else has got it and the showing off and the bragging on the hauls and whatever else and I feel like it's changed me somewhat when I go shopping or um, when I'm online or when I get paid or whatever. I feel like I spend my different my money differently and I want different things and I want them for different reasons. I want things that I don't even want just because other people have got them or because I want to show people that I've got them and that's wrong. I, I didn't want to be that person and I feel like it's changed me and for that I'm sorry. Um, you, you guys need to know that I haven't got a lot of money and I haven't had a lot of money in the last six months. A lot of the stuff that I was buying originally was on eBay, then I was buying more from department stores and if I'm spending a lot of money on makeup one week it's probably just because, well, because I want to and as a result I'm probably walking to work or something. I'm like, it all is relative, I've only got so much money to spend and I don't have a credit card luckily anymore. Um, but I've only got so much money to spend, so if I'm spending it on makeup, then it, I'm not spending it somewhere else. My bills get paid, but outside of that, maybe I don't eat that day. That has happened. I've bought a lipstick instead of getting lunch. And that is a disease. So that's a whole other video. I'm going to do a Shopaholics Anonymous video, um, completely separate to this. So if you want to join, give me a thumbs up. Um, yeah, basically, coming out of this, I... I just want to kind of get across that you don't need to spend a lot of money on makeup. It would be ridiculous to get yourselves in debt over wanting to buy makeup just because you see it on YouTube, just because a guru has bought it and tells you that it's fantastic. Yes, some of these things that I've bought are fantastic, but I've got to say, I've tried a matte foundation and it is no better than a Maybelline foundation. I don't know if that's because... I mean, I wanted it to be. I wanted to love MAC. I wanted to be one of those girls on YouTube that's like, oh, MAC's so fantastic, it's this and it's that. I am someone that has always, if I've got £100, I would rather buy 10 things than one thing. And those 10 things will wear out or they will break really, really quickly and I'll have nothing to show for them. As opposed to those girls that have got a wardrobe full of designer clothes, I've probably spent the same kind of money, but I've got 10 times as many things as them because they're all crap. And that's just how I am. And I don't see that changing anytime soon. And if it does change, then it's an effect of YouTube. And I didn't really want to change because of it. So, yeah. Basically, it's all really, really shallow. And I would hate to think that any of my young viewers are going out and buying things that they can't afford because I'm telling you that they're great. Because you really don't need to do that. Most things that I'm telling you are great can probably be duped at a much, much cheaper price. A lot of the things that I'm showing you are cheap anyway. And I'm trying to kind of get away from buying the higher end stuff, much as I love it. And it's like part of my collection now. Um... That wasn't the point of my channel. I wanted to kind of be different to everybody else. And so there will be some things that I still buy that are more expensive just because I'm coming out of the being so skint phase. Um, but I want you all to know that I'm sorry if I have changed. I'm sorry if I'm making you feel like you have to buy things that are too expensive and you can't afford. Because I, have, I am there. I have been there, I am there now, and I don't want to put anyone else in that position. Um, okay. I love watching gurus that are like totally made up and all perfect and they do the hair I love my blow dry today um, they do the hair and the perfect makeup and they get dressed up and everything for a video so in homage of those people today I have done just that I've blow dried my hair which I know looks fabulous I've done my makeup and I am dressed in a dress nonetheless oh, rhymes. anyway I love to watch those people they're selling an image and I'm buying it I really, really love to watch those people, but I'm never going to be those people. I just can't be bothered. Life's too short to blow dry my hair every day. When I do it, I think, yeah, it looks great, but I'm not going to do it before every video. I'm just not. A lot of the time I know I look a complete state. And I'm sorry if that makes people unsubscribe to me because they don't like what image I'm selling, then fine. But that's me, and 
I can't be bothered to do my hair and get all dressed up when I've been at work all day. I just can't be bothered. Even when I hadn't been at work all day, I mean, I did make more effort. If you look back at my old videos from when I wasn't working, I did make a lot more effort with my hair and whatever. But no, I just can't be bothered. So I'm sorry if that makes people not want to watch, but life's too short at the end of the day. Uh, if, I worried what, if I worried about what I look like, 80% of my videos wouldn't be up there. I mean, think of my hair dye videos, um, the video that I did, the fake tan. I looked completely ridiculous. And if I cared, then so many people wouldn't have found my videos because of that. And I really, really like the feedback where people say, you're not the same as other gurus, you're, you're different off gurus. Um, you're different because you're not afraid to get dirty for this sense of like entertainment, or for the cause. I like to entertain people, and I'd rather people think, oh, she's really funny, than, oh, I'd really like to look like her. I would much rather people think, I really like her personality, and so I'd rather be me than try to be somebody else that I'm not. Okay. Um, right, I have kind of gone through a little bit of, um, I was considering trying to make a tag, but I thought what I might just do, because this is kind of like a YouTube changed me video and things that I never did before YouTube. So I might make it into a tag and see if I can get other people to do it, see if I can get kind of like a buzz. Um, but this is just like what I never did before YouTube, what YouTube made me do. Um, as opposed to YouTube made me do it, like buying things. These are just like things that I never did before YouTube. Um, so these are the lots of things that I never did before YouTube. I never bought one Mac product before YouTube. I knew of Mac, but we didn't have a Mac store in my town. We had one in Meadowall in Sheffield, which is a town away. And um, I'd been to it, but it was kind of intimidating. I didn't really know much about it. So until YouTube, until I'd got kind of like a little bit of an understanding of what, what it was all about, I feel, felt like I kind of needed to swat up on Mac before I went to the store because it is intimidating and the sales girls and everything are really, really intimidating and they're not when you speak to them they're quite nice it's just when you don't know anything you feel like really really stupid so I've never bought anything from Mac I had bought Benefit Benefit was a big one I loved Benefit um so it's not the money so much as I mean I actually thought Mac was a lot more expensive than it is but Benefit's more expensive than Mac I don't know if it lasts longer or what but it is more expensive I would never have bought an eight pound Mac nail polish in a million years that's the most expensive nail polish I've ever bought I still can't believe I bought two this week that's crazy um, I have never spent so much money on makeup before, like in like one massive lot of it. Um, and just in general, in the last six months, I've spent an inordinate amount of milk, of money on makeup. Um, I've never bought an item because it was limited edition until YouTube. Uh, I never bored anyone with my makeup slash YouTube talk, and that's all pretty much I've got to talk about now because this is it. Um, but then I never had a hobby. I never had anything that I did. I had the computer and I played like Sims and stuff like that and it was completely enthralling and like I was totally invested in that, loved computer games, but I never had a real hobby and I find this is my hobby now. Um, I never had so many people interested in what I had to say or pictures that I'd taken because I'm a complete compulsive picture taker and I love that I have kind of an audience now. Um, I never knew I could make a little bit of pocket money through AdSense doing something that I loved. For anyone that's interested, I've made like £50 in the last three months, so it's not a lot, um, but it's it's just something. I haven't even seen any of it yet, but I just like the idea that I'm making a little bit of money on the side to kind of recuperate all the things that I've bought over the past however many months or whatever, just to show you guys. Um, so yeah, I like. I never knew that, you could, that I could make money doing something that I absolutely loved. I never knew there was a whole community of like-minded people out there that were so nice. Never knew my boyfriend would be so supportive of anything that I did because he totally is really supportive of my YouTube, even though my mum thinks I'm crackers. I never achieved anything that I felt I could be proud of. Um, and so, if you're already making YouTube videos, if you're thinking of making YouTube videos, be prepared for people to be horrible to you. Tell them, for them to tell you that you're no good, or for them to tell you that you're not pretty enough, or you don't make enough effort, you know, you're just no good. But try not to change because of it and try not to let the YouTube community make you feel like you're not good enough and try not to make, just try not to feel like so much, like you have to be other people, just be yourself. I think the people that I love to watch, although they might be really well put together, some of them, <coughs> I like to watch them because of the personality and I like, I have very, very few subscriptions because I really like to get to know the people that I'm watching rather than watch really random videos. So I say, don't give up just because of the haters and don't give up because you're not like everyone else on YouTube. Be yourself and people will love you for it. So yeah, thanks for watching and if you haven't already, please subscribe. Bye!